What's good, YouTube? It's your boy K Flex. I'm back here with another video. Gotta make this video really fast because I'm on lunch break right now. At work, really, I'm really, you know, so supposed to be eating, but this is way too important right now, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, the Miami Dolphins have did a blockbuster deal, two blockbuster deals that we're about to get into right now. I'm sorry I've been a little late on this, uh, but I, like I said, I'm at work right now. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Greer might be playing chess while the rest of the league is playing checkers. Uh, we're going to get into a lot of stuff right now, but first and foremost, I'm going to break it down to you guys. So, essentially, right, right now, we have the sixth pick. If you're wondering how we got here and you don't know yet, I will explain. So, number one, we traded the third pick for the San Francisco 49ers 12th pick there as well as their third pick in this draft. I mean, the third round pick in this, in this draft and as well as their next two first round draft picks. So, basically, we traded our third pick for their their 12th. We, we just swapped that and then we got two more first and then we got a third, right? So I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh, my original thoughts was, damn, we can't get nobody that we thought we was gonna get. Bruh. But I'm cool with it because honestly, at 12, we were still gonna be able to get a good player. So I'm like, oh my goodness, this is a genius trade, regardless. Okay, but I was just thinking like, yo, Pitts is out of the equation. So Will's out of the equation. Uh, Jamar Chase is out of the equation. That's what I'm thinking at the moment, right? But I couldn't make the video I was working. So then, I'm glad I couldn't make the video because we had another blockbuster trade happen, and now this one. Now, this one is with the Eagles, and this one, we acquired the 6th overall pick for the for our 12th overall pick in this draft, and then our 1st overall pick in next year's draft. So, not the 49ers pick, our pick, right? And honestly, if we end up having a good season like I think we're going to have, I'm talking about playoff Super Bowl season, that pick is going to be in the 20s or somewhere, so that's fine, okay? So, essentially, we're back up to the 6th, and overall, if you want to look at it from a big perspective and just, like, what did we get? We basically essentially got a first round draft pick uh, in 2023, a third round draft pick to move back three spaces. Okay, so we basically moved back three spaces to the sixth pick and we got a, we acquired a first round draft pick in 2023 and a third round draft pick, okay? That's basically what happened. And to be real, guys, this was honestly a genius move. Let me get to how I feel about this. First and foremost, uh, just a couple things. This pretty much, to me, it says the Dolphins are committed to tour, which we already really knew. But, I mean, it's really confirmed. But if anybody had any doubts, I always kind of knew, like, Tua was the guy. I always kind of knew. But, I mean, if you had any doubts, this is confirmed that we're committed. Even if you feel as though we could still get a quarterback at six, bro, if we saw a quarterback that we liked, if we was that eager to replace Tua, we would not even have traded back. We would have stayed at three and got that quarterback. So, we went, why would we take the chance if we really liked the quarterback that much? So, to be honest with you, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this because it, it should have been clear from the start that, we are committed to tour, so if that was ever a question in anybody's mind, those are resolved. Um, another thing I like, I like is that we have the 49ers 2023 pick. We also, still have the 49ers next year pick because we traded our next year pick. And the 49ers have a chance of being, especially if this year they decide to draft a quarterback and they, and they have to build with him. Obviously, they, they still have Jimmy G and they claim they're going to keep him, but NFL GMs and all that lie all the time. But anyways. Let's just say uh, they get a rookie quarterback and they have to develop him. They could they could suck, right? I think we're going to have a better record than the 49ers next year. And they're in a hard division with the Cardinals, with the Seahawks, with the Rams. That's a tough division. So they could end up sucking, and we could end up still having a really good pick next year. You know, so I'm that's what I'm happy about. Uh, like I said, the 49ers are not guaranteed to be good. Tonto essentially turned into three first-rounders in a third. Uh, which is amazing for a guy who on draft day was smoke ca caught smoking the gas mask. That's the only Bruh. reason why we got him because he was smoking. Uh, so this is an amazing turnaround. Uh, Chris Greer and the guys are working magic. Um, and at this point, guys, I'm under the p impression that we just need to take the best player available. This takes a lot of pressure off us because I've always said that three forwards receiver to me was kind of too early. And it was always like, you, got, you guys know this, I've always been consistent with this. Even though people say, oh, well, we need a receiver. I was like, bro, three for a receiver, especially Devonta Smith or something like that. It's like, bro, I don't know about that. Even for a tight end or whatever, I just didn't know. And now that we move back to six, I'm cool with a receiver. I'm cool with anybody. In my opinion, we just need to take the best player available. If Panay Suel is available at six, I still take him, to be quite honest with you. But at this point, I'm taking whatever the best player available is. If Suel gets taken before six, which he probably will, it's a good chance he might. 
get a receiver. Get the whoever's the best receiver. If it's Kyle Pitts, get Kyle Pitts if that's what you feel. If it's if it's you know what I'm saying, it's just a lot less pressure than if you draft one of those guys at number three. Because if you draft one of those guys at number three, you're pretty much depending on them to be the damn Calvin Johnson like, or or it's just not worth it. And I, I honestly don't think that we're going to lose out on any prospects from moving to three to six because honestly, guys, it's pretty much well understood that. Okay, let's just get it. Let's just get it clear. Trevor Lawrence is going number one. That's just facts. And look, honestly, Zach Wilson and Justin Fields are probably going to get drafted in the top three as well. It's going to be three quarterbacks drafted within the top five picks. We have the sixth pick. We weren't getting quarterback anyway. So when those three people leave, by that time, only two of our prospects are going to be available, like, are going to have a chance of getting taken. You know what I'm saying? And let me try to explain this better. Like, the quarterbacks are getting taken. We we're never going to get them. There's two picks in front of us where skill position players or, or, or those type of players are going to get taken. And after that, it's going to be our pick. So if I'm looking at it from the perspective of, okay, let's say Panay Sewell gets taken or Panay Sewell and uh, Jamar Chase gets taken at fourth and fifth or whatever, then we're still going to have a chance to get Devontae Smith. We're still going to have a chance to get Kyle Pitts. You feel me? Okay, let's say Kyle Pitts gets taken or, or and, and Jamar Chase. Then we're still gonna have a chance to get Panay Sewell. You feel me? Let's say Jamar Chase and Panay Sewell. Like, you know, you get what I'm saying? Like, we are still gonna get the most amazing player that we probably were gonna get at three, anyways. And then also, we have now have even more picks, another pick. You know what I'm saying? Another pick in the third round draft pick. All right. And we even have a better pick next year because I promise you we're gonna have a better record than the uh, uh, 49ers next year. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what the Dolphins have just did is absolutely fantastic. Just, just amazing moves. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you have, I have no complaints about what just happened. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you guys think this was genius as I think it was, or you guys think eh, I wanted to stay at three for whatever reason? I don't know. What, what that, whoever we can get at three is not going to be ruled out at six. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, none of the players that we could get at three are going to be ruled out at six because we weren't getting the quarterback. That's a fact. Okay. So, and uh. I have a video actually recorded already that was scheduled to drop at 1.30. I had to hurry up and delete it. And it was about, do we need to drop a receiver? And I deleted it whenever we traded it back to 12 because I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to release this. Uh, you know, I need to release a trade video first. But I'll probably release that tonight, probably around 8 o'clock. So I will be making another video. Just know that video was recorded before this one. That was recorded last night. So if some things in that video is out of date or out of, like, if I said something in that video that's just not true currently, if you're watching this right now and then you watch that video later, just know that some of the things that's in that video, and I'll just remind y'all in the comments, but some of them things that's in that video might be, like, changed all of a sudden. I got to make another video about my top prospects and all that stuff because it's different now. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know if it's really different because if, if we was at 12, it would be a lot different because then we would be ruled out of certain people. Like, if you're at 12, you're not getting Jamar Chase, you're not getting Kyle Pitts, you're not getting, uh, like, certain people that was our top prospects, you're not getting, you're not getting Panay Sewell, you, you know what I'm saying? But at this point, you're back at six now. Hell, you can still get all them people. You know what I'm saying? So it just depends on what other teams get who else. All right. But anyways, guys, uh, get in the conversation. Let me know what you guys think about this blockbuster, absolute crazy trade. Uh, let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, because when we traded back to 12, ladies and gentlemen, I was thinking like, oh, my goodness, we might try to have to get Michael Parsons. We might have to just get Waddle right there. That's what I'm thinking at that point. I'll tell y'all because, you know what I'm saying, it didn't happen. But I'm thinking like, okay, we got to try to get Waddle, Michael Parsons, or even uh, the, the the end for um the end for Miami. Obviously, like, we just, or even Devontae Smith, if he, if he would have fell down there, or possibly uh, the other tackle, what is his name, Slater. We would have, like, it, again, these are all different type of people than, you know what I'm saying, who we can get now, which is the Jamar Chases of the world, the Kyle Pitts of the world, the... If, if you think we need a receiver, which I'm making a video on, which I already have a video on, which we're going to see. But these are completely different than the, you know what I'm saying, the Panay Suels of the world, the Jamar Chases, the Kyle Pitts. You know what I'm saying? Those guys were going to be ruled out. I was going to have to make a whole new top top prospect video. But, uh, what a trade, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, man. Um, I was absolutely shocked. I was upset that I was at work. I couldn't make a video right away. But the video is out now. Get in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think, though. Like, comment, subscribe. Roll to 11 can wish Okay, flexing. Genius moves, man. If we don't win a Super Bowl with this regime, I'm going to quit watching football because, I mean, we did everything perfect. So if we can't win a Super Bowl like this, then uh, we're, like, cursed or somebody hates us in the higher powers that we just can't fix. Okay? Get in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Roll to 11 can wish Okay, flexing.